Mr. Speaker. What's that? Order. The member just please ask his question. Well, I would if they'd be Order. quiet. Order. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister of Social Development, how will Budget 2012? Oh, just give it to. Her. Well, the member a bit needs. Order. The member needs to be careful. I might just go on to the next question. Uh, question number five. The Honourable Tohu. Okay, let's Mr. start again. Mr. Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Social Development. How will Budget 2012 provide greater support for young people most at risk of long-term welfare dependency? Mr. The Honourable Speaker, Paul Bennett. brilliant question. Changes in Budget 2012 will support those young people most at risk, teen parents and those 16 and 17-year-olds who are either on benefit or not in education, employment or training. We have allocated $148.8 million over four years to ensure these young people are in education, training or work-based learning. Um, this including putting a youth provider alongside each individual to wrap around support. We'll, we'll expect to, um, providers to ensure they intend classes, receive budgeting advice and parenting courses. The the uh, what reports has she received to indicate public support for these measures? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm um, quite extensive and for that and also for the call to um, remove some of the barriers to um, beneficiaries being able to access contraception. Um, from some of the polls that I've seen, and I've seen three of them and stuff, 85% thought that it's a great idea. Well, um, to that member, actually, nearly 20,000 people responded to that. Um, it's actually more than that respond to the HLFS survey. Um, the Herald itself had an 85% favourable uh, response to that one. And Campbell Live last night, 82% actually in favour. Speaker. The Honourable Tohenere. Mr Speaker, what new measures are there that will support young teenagers on benefits to make better choices? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, we've introduced money management using redirections and a payment card to ensure these young people learn how to manage their costs. Um, I make no apologies for this kind of hands-on approach. Previous government's hands-off one simply hasn't worked. We've also introduced incentive payments. We will pay a young person on benefit an extra $10 per week um, if they, for each of these, for if they um, are, for six months have been in education training or work-based learning, have completed a budgeting programme, or yeah, for young parents if they completed a, a parenting programme, have enrolled with a PH PHO and have up-to-date well-child checks for their children. Jacinda Ardern. <coughs> to the Minister. Why under her new reforms would a woman on an income of $288 a week pay $480 for long-term contraception like Marina, but a woman receiving the same amount per week but through the benefit system will pay nothing. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Because we've targeted it at those that are on benefit. Why? Question number of order. Somebody question. Um, forgive, is it a point of order? Oh, it's a point of point order, of order Speaker. Speaker. I think the answer that the Minister gave was implied in the question. That obviously wasn't what I was asking. No order. No order. With the order, I'm on my feet. With respect, the answer was, seemed perfectly clear to me that the Minister was uh, objective was to target beneficiaries. That's why the, that difference. The Final right question. Winston Peters, supplementary question. Uh, given the questioner's wraparound support for the Minister and his... <laughs> and his peerless support for the national government. Did the minister receive any representations from the questioner about how ghastly he was at the attack the minister received yesterday from her associate, uh, Tariana Turia, on this issue? The uh, Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm sorry, but um, uh, the, the, uh, my associate minister may have opinions, but she's actually not bound to agree with everything that I do. <laughs> Question number six, the Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Mr Speaker.